What's going on guys? I'm Jacob Cabazuto with Cab Training and today I'm going to be talking about how to increase your bench press. So most people when they talk about increasing your bench just say let's lift a little bit more, let's put a little bit more on the bar. But there's a lot more to it than that. So in this video I'm going to be talking about different exercises and different tips that you can apply to your weight training program so that you can increase your bench press max. So stay tuned for some more content and let's get better today. So the bench press is used to measure NFL recruits overall strength in their upper body, but it's also a rite of passage for a lot of gym goers. The, the first workout that a gym goer does is, so a lot of the times, bench press. So it's a very important lift for many different people in the fitness industry, so that's why I'm going to be talking to you about that now. So the first tip I'm going to give you might seem really simple, but it's push-ups. Push-ups are going to be huge for developing your overall chest strength and endurance. When I was in 7th and 8th grade, I would play catch in the swimming pool with a football. And every time I'd drop a football, I'd get out of the pool, drop down, and do 25 push-ups. If I was on the football field at practice for tackle ball in 8th grade, I'd drop a pass, have to do push-ups. In between commercials, in between games on my video game, I would do push-ups. And that led to me, in the beginning of my freshman year, my first ever max as a freshman in ninth grade as a 14 year old, I bench pressed 225 pounds, much to the excitement of my high school football teammates. So push-ups are huge, huge, huge. I cannot emphasize that enough. So I want you to do a base amount of push-ups and increase the amount of push-ups that you do every single day. If you are somebody who hasn't lifted on a bench press yet or doesn't lift over 100 pounds on bench or is too young to start lifting heavy, do push-ups. If you are still lifting heavy weight right now, do push-ups. This is a non-discriminatory workout. You have to do it no matter what if you want to have an insanely strong bench press max. Benching is a primarily chest workout, but your triceps and your shoulders are huge in it as well. And so what I'm going to do is go muscle by muscle just to further emphasize the, each muscle's importance to the actual lift. Let's start out with triceps. So triceps are huge when you come into that top half part of your bench press where you're trying to extend your arms for that extra little push to extend. And a lot of people end up failing. They get halfway up and they end up not being able to extend. And that all is attributed to a lack of tricep strength. So what I want you to do is I want you to get on the bench, raise up the safety racks on your bench, and rest the bar on top of the safety racks. And what you're going to do is top half bench. You can load up with a little bit more weight here. All you're gonna do is you're just gonna have your standard grip on the bar. You're gonna raise it up off the safety racks and press it up for about 10 times, okay? It's really just simulating that top half part of your bench and, and engaging your triceps. Because that bottom half of your bench is all chest, but that top half is all that, is that extra tricep push in, in order to extend your arms. Some other tricep workouts that you should try are, are tricep pull downs. Those are really, really good for you. If you go to a gym, I highly recommend using the pull down machine with the ropes. But if you are at home and you have resistance bands at home, all you need to do is hang your resistance band over some kind of hook or close it into the door. Keep your elbows tight into your ribs and pull down, engaging your triceps, flexing at the bottom of the exercise. And another one, I can't emphasize push-ups enough. We're back at push-ups and we're gonna do them close grip this time. Close grip or diamonds. You put your hands in a diamond shape and push up off the ground. This really isolates your tricep and gets you to push up just through the triceps. The next way to increase your bench press max is to increase your shoulder strength. And by shoulders, I mostly mean your anterior deltoid on the front of your shoulder. The anterior deltoid is a huge muscle when it comes to pushing that bar straight up. Just, just think, it's just logical. When you're coming up here pushing, you're focusing on that front part of your shoulder to give yourself that push up. It works in tandem with your chest muscles and your tricep muscles, especially on that first part, you're pushing with that shoulder and chest. So that's why we have to strengthen your front of your shoulder and your shoulder at large. 
So one of the workouts that I suggest you doing are front raises. Front raises are huge in isolating your anterior deltoid. What you're going to do is make sure your arm is straight or kind of straight. Your elbow can bend a little bit in this workout, but what I want you to do is make sure that you raise that dumbbell up in front of you, eye level. Another one is shoulder press, and it's a basic workout, but this is really huge. It gets your whole shoulder going. It mimics the rotation that your shoulder's making during an actual bench press, and this just increases your capacity that you can lift and hold up in front of you, as well as overhead. Don't do this if you're younger because I was told it stunts your growth, but after searching it up on Google, I heard that's a myth. But just to be safe, don't lift any weights above your head if you're younger than 13. One of the biggest things people don't talk about with bench press is core strength and its involvement in the lift. You have to have a strong core if you're going to be able to handle all the weight that you're lifting up. These power lifters that, uh, that lift up 500 pounds on bench press need to have strong abs in order to support their weight on that bench or they're going to fall off. So what I'd recommend you doing is a lot of plank, a lot of sit-ups, a lot of stability exercises for your core just so that you can have that extra strength inside of you so you can stabilize that bar on you and hold up that weight. Another facet of the bench press exercise is wrist strength. If you're gonna be able to hold up 405 pounds on that bar or anything bigger than 150 pounds, you're gonna need a substantial amount of wrist strength. If your wrist can't handle all that weight on the bar, you won't be able to push it up. So what I suggest you doing is some wrist curls, some different kind of squeezing exercises. If you have like a squeezing ball that you have at your house or something, Hold dumbbells at your waist for a long period of time just to build up your wrist strength. It is huge. I can't emphasize it enough. You need to have strong wrists in order to have a strong bench press. So all video, I've been telling you what to do, what to get stronger, what to do to increase your bench press. Now I'm gonna tell you how to do it. And the best way I can articulate that is through the topic of progressive overload. What that essentially means is to increase the stress on your muscles so as to get improved results. So what I'm telling you not to do is to go up to the bar on bench press every single time and do 135 for four sets of 10. That's only gonna maintain the weight that you already do. What you're trying to do is increase your bench. So what we wanna do is we wanna increase the load that you carry, push your limits. That's the only way to get better at anything is to push your limits. So increase your weight. I'd say my best suggestion is to go low reps, high weight, especially if you're a more experienced lifter. But if you're in the early goings, I'm gonna tell you to do a lot of push-ups and a lot of high weight so you can build your muscles so you can increase the tolerance during your bench press. So in conclusion, guys, if you utilize that idea of progressive overload, along with the muscle strengthening workouts and tips that I've given in this video, I believe that you guys will get really good results on your bench press the next time you max out. So I want you guys to stick with it, stay consistent, and keep pushing your limits. Because when you come to cab training, you come here to get better. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more fitness tips.